We're trying the new menu at Tony's Town Square Restaurant in Magic Kingdom. Hello, I'm Jay, and you're watching the theme park foodies, and we are at Magic Kingdom, dining at a place we've never dined at before, Sam. Where? Tony's Town Square. Yes, this is actually right to the right as you walk into Magic Kingdom. So if you're walking over to the castle, to the right-hand side, before you even see the castle, and it's themed like where? It's like Lady what? in the Tramp. Yes, mm -hmm. Lady in the Tramp. So it's like, uh, we gotta get some Lady ones. Oh, I think a parade's about to start. Which, yes. they have outdoor seating at Tony's. Yes. So if you're sitting, sitting outside, you can watch the parade go by. Yeah, great views of the parade. Uh, no real views of the castle. It's Italian food, and it doesn't have the best reviews, but the menu has recently been like revamped, right? So I'm hearing like some better things, but there have been uh, some not so great things said. Like if they say it's like an Olive Garden previously, but listen, Olive Garden food I think is better than any Italian food we've had in Florida since we moved. So I'd be looking forward to some uh, Olive Garden food. The first place we have to head to though, we gotta get some, we gotta get some coffee, Sam. And I think we need a redo of the chocolate cream cold brew. Yeah, right? mine wasn't chocolatey. Yes, mine was more chocolate last time. So we're gonna get that. We're gonna have some cold brew. We're gonna enjoy the atmosphere of Magic Kingdom, and then. We're gonna head to Tony's Town Square and eat like Lady in the Tramp. You ready? I'm already hungry, but I still have two hours to my reservation. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our dining reservation at Tony's Town Square in Magic Kingdom. All right, here we are, the Main Street Bakery. This is the Starbucks. All right, we're here for the chocolate cream cold brew. Thank you very much. Right, so we got to watch Festival of Fantasy while having our chocolate cream cold brew. It was like perfect timing. We got to walk out and it's going right down Main Street. Um, do you taste more chocolate? We asked for actually extra cream this time. Yeah, you got to mix it in. When, I, when you drink it without the straw, I think I taste it more like in the cream. Yeah. Um, still an I, I still like this more than the salted caramel and the other creams. I like the Irish cream. You like the Irish cream? I just feel like the Irish cream Flavor. Yeah, oh, I, I like the the hint in here. Right, so we actually got to get on People Mover, Sam, and we had we got to see all like the construction on Tron and the tunnel for the Walt Disney World Railroad. It looks like almost done, like that bit, right? I hope so. Yeah, I've never been able to like I always watch the construction updates on uh, on YouTube and stuff, but so I've never been able to see it live. You know what I mean? Like I haven't seen anyone post that yet. But yeah, like the tunnel is almost done. So I we've actually never ridden. The Walt Disney World Railroad. Close for yes, years. years. So I am so excited to be able to ride that for the first time since I've been a little kid. Because we came first in 2017, it's closing like 2018, I think. And uh, yeah, no. So we're looking forward to that and Tron, of course, too. Uh, and there, you can also see they're opening up that pathway next to Space Mountain, so you can get the Tron too. So very cool to see on our way to dinner now. Uh, after watching Carousel of Progress and the People Mover, a great Magic Kingdom day. All right, so if the spaghetti and meatballs here aren't like solid, I'm going to be really disappointed. And you can also check it on the QR code right here to the left. So if you do virtual check-in, you just wait for your name to be called right here in the waiting area. And they actually have Lady in the Tramp flag. So we can see it by Lady in the Tramp restaurant. All right, so we just got seated and we ordered. Um, I really like the decor in here. We've never been inside, right, Sam? It's really cute. Yeah. I it's, love the artwork. Yeah. It's a lot like... Uh, well, it's connected to where you meet Mickey in Town Square. Use the QR code to uh, look up the menu and, and the new. Mm -hmm. it smells like Parmesan cheese. Yes. Oh, it's place, it smells like Parmesan, Parmesan cheese. cheese. Yeah. Nice the new items are they have a, uh, a Tony's uh, garlic bread on the appetizer. We didn't get that. Uh, we actually got the. Uh, I got chicken yes, yeah, Sam got chicken and parm. Chicken out. Yes. Yeah, the chicken al forno is new, which I got that. So I got one of the new items, so we can try one of the new items. And they also have uh, two other things about the fried mozzarella and the toy box tomato salad. And so I think they changed the scampi. And they yes. Said it, like yes, it's like a potatoes with the scampi now. Um, and then I think everything else 
Oh wait, no. Um, yeah. yeah, I think everything else is pretty much the same. So, oh, let's, try the, let's try the food. All right, we went very adventurous with the drinks, Sam. You got a whole lemonade and I got a root beer. So you can get wine and beer here, just so you know. But we went for just the fountain sodas. This is the standard bread that they've always had. This isn't an upcharge. It comes with your meal. You get a little olive oil to dip it in with. It looks like mass produced. At least it comes with olive oil and not like butter, I guess. Makes it more Italian. What, what would you give it, Sam? Oosh. Oosh. Okay, so I'm gonna dip it. I'm gonna try to really soak it. It's toasted, so at least it's warm. It definitely doesn't feel like fresh. It's hot. For me, that's not even hot. That's a cool one. Yeah, I agree. I'm just really hungry, so it's mm -hmm. like... I tried to be nice. That's so good. Hopefully the entrees will get better. Alright, so this is the fried mozzarella. It's like two giant mozzarella sticks. The I cheese bowl is good. It looks better than I thought. Yeah. And it's a more like creamy sauce. Yeah, it's a Tony sauce. The sauce is creamy. I don't know how authentically Italian that is, but... I like the cheese bowl. Yeah? Something needs to redeem that bread. That bread was really good. <laughs> What would you give it? One to ten. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna kick it. <laughs> Cheese. It looks. I can't wait to try it myself. Seven. Oh, seven. Wait, this is a tomato salad. different types of tomatoes in there and some cucumbers. A very light dressing. I mean you just have something rich with the mozzarella. Oh what's that? Oh. Nice. I'm not sure if I should open up my own stick or go with yours. Yeah, get your own stick. Leave my stick alone. Oh, man, this cheese pulls very well. I've never had fried mozzarella that came like that before. Yeah, it's like a giant stick. It's like a giant, it's like mm. a mozzarella stick on steroids. Mm. I like the sauce too, and I'm, I was not thinking that yeah, really. that was going to happen. Them. Mm. Crispy. I agree, Sam. I think you're right. This is a seven. Look at this. Crispy. The cheese is pulls well, so it's like freshly fried cooked. The sauce is original and unique. It's not like authentic Italian, but it's something unique to this restaurant. I think it tastes very well. I, I agree. Solid seven. Okay, so I'm going to try to get one of these big tomatoes. Small portion though. I feel like that for an appetizer, that should be a little bit more. Yeah, it's not as shareable as you'd like. I'm sure you want everything. Mm. It tastes fresh. The vegetables taste very fresh. Light. Serves the purpose. Not like the freshest, most amazing salad. But I like the different combinations. Different tomatoes, cucumbers, cheese. It's good. I, mean, I agree with your six. I think we're on the same page here, Sam, with the little rating things. It is the six. All right, Sam. It's a thick piece of chicken. It is a thick piece of chicken. The pasta looks pretty decent. They gave us some, uh, some Parmesan on the side right here so it's not like a thin cutlet i usually like a nice thin cutlet for a chicken farm but if it's good chicken you are the chicken farm princess so you would know your chicken farm it's definitely better than i thought it was going to be better than you thought yes what was your rate one of the ten seven oh nice all right sam is going to try 
Yeah, pasta. Pasta actually looks fresh. Yeah. Like, looks like good pasta to me. I mean, I'm not sure if it's made in the house, probably not, but I'm sure a little parm with that sauce on it adds some flavor to it. I mean, I don't think it's gonna be anything like we have in New York, but if it's decent, it's gonna be better than we had in Florida so far, you know. Makes sense. Yeah. I think we've gotten so used to bad Italian food that like we're just like as long as it's not bad, it's good, you know? As long as it's like but, edible. Yeah. The chicken is just, good. Uh, this is the um, chicken al forno, so it's more like a ziti, they said. It's like a baked ziti. Uh, I like the cheese course a lot. The cheese here looks pretty solid. Yeah, I feel like the cheese is mm -hmm. a highlight here. The cheese actually seems fresh. Yeah. My chicken is good, but the sauce is lacking. The ingredients are, are fine, but the weakest part is the sauce. But the sauce with the mozzarella, I feel like, is better. Yes, yeah, the cream sauce with the mm -hmm. with the fried mozzarella is better than the standard like marinara. This is some spice to it, it's good. Like I'm not gonna knock it, like it's good. And for all those who hate Olive Garden, I don't hate Olive Garden. I mean, I don't hate quality Italian food, but like if I'm in the mood for Olive Garden, I'm not in the mood for Italian food. I'm in the mood for Olive Garden, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, I wish we had Olive Garden breadsticks. Yeah, Olive Garden breadsticks are sauce. It was a salad. This is okay. I mean, I, it, and it's not Olive Garden, but it is kind of on the same level. It is so loud in here. Yeah, I mean, this is a right on Main Street restaurant. Oh my god. Um, I can't even hear myself. I'm going to seven. This is definitely a seven. All right, so Sam was nice enough to give me some of her chicken parmesan. It is quality chicken. It is crispy. Mm -hmm. Chicken bar needs to be slathered in a good sauce. The sauce is weak. You get chicken parmesan in New York, mm -hmm. you can't see it. Like it's very covered in yeah. sauce and cheese. You don't yeah. even see the chicken. The chicken's good. I would agree with your seven. It's a seven. All right, so we got the, one of their new desserts, which is Tony's Simone Tart. It has some mousse right here on top of it. It has this little crispy, I don't even know what this thing is. And it's like hard at the bottom, but soft on top. It's green in the center. A lot of different stuff. We'll, we'll put a lower third in so you know what's in it. Mm. This is the best thing for a meal. <laughs> yeah, this is good. Oh, crispy is good. All the mixing of the flavors, they create like a unique profile with the crunchy, the soft, the hard, and the bottom. And those textures accentuate the different flavors that are inside of it. Very good. I'm going to give this a solid taste. I definitely think this dessert, for me, out of this meal, was the highlight. Everything else was kind of average, you know, pretty maybe like above average for a faux Italian. This is an authentic Italian. It's faux Italian. And if you come in accepting that, I think you'll enjoy the meal a bit more. But if you go in thinking you're seeing the authentic meal from Tony from Italy, you know, this isn't bad. You know what I mean, Sam? Yes. This is the best thing. Definitely not authentic Italian, just a good dessert. Yeah, I'm gonna give that an eight. So. Pistachio. Yeah, I'm assuming the green is pistachio. Um, the top is a mousse. I think it's a raspberry mousse. Again, we'll put the lower third in. There's a lot of different flavors in there. Get a little bit of, bit of that crispy on top too, Sam. That, that'll add that texture to the, like adds to the flavor. You don't like it? I'm not with you on the eight. It's a good thing you had it then. Six. Okay. Six. Awesome. Six to six, maybe? I'm happy that each of us felt differently. 
All right, Sam, so what do you think of our dinner at Tony's Town Square? Our first time dining at Tony's Town Square, having Italian food in Magic Kingdom. We had great service. Yes. I really Jason, same name. <laughs> it's great service. <laughs> I really like the theming. It's yeah. very cute. Yeah. The food was better than I expected. Yeah. Obviously not the best. Never thought it was going to be the best. Yes. I just, if they put the sauce that was on fried mozzarella on the chicken parm, yeah. I think that chicken parm could have been an eight. If they had a better sauce, it could have elevated the entire meal. Uh, the I would chicken was good. The cheese was good. Yeah, no, the chicken was solid. Uh, they had some great ingredients, but yeah, the sauce kind of de de elevated. It's not a word. Acidic. Yeah, yeah. You didn't really eat much of the pasta. If you if you go in not expecting good Italian food, you will be pleasantly surprised as we did. But if you go in thinking, like I said before, this is Tony from Italy feeding you. You know, like I, I, I think Tony deserves better Italian food, which is why I understand people going to Tony's restaurant and being disappointed by it. Uh, but I do think it is like that Olive Garden level, which I could deal with Olive Garden, but I'm not going to Olive Garden for Italian food, if that makes sense. Yeah, and like you I know? don't expect to come to Magic Kingdom and find authentic Italian Yes, food. but there is good French food at Be Our Guest. That's the thing. That's another story. Yeah, and there is good Thanksgiving food in Liberty Square. So like if I'm going to rank restaurants, Tony's Town Square, I don't even think makes the top five. Yeah. Plaza and is like, above it. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, if we were short on time and vacationing, this yeah. wouldn't be a spot I would have. Yeah, no. Uh, I could just think off the top of my head, uh, Jungle Skipper Canteen, uh, Liberty, Tree. Liberty Tree Tavern, Be Our Guest, Plaza Restaurant. Uh, so many uh, better options, but... Not to down Tony's. Not to down Tony's. It's decent, it's good, uh, and I enjoyed it. Um, if I live here, would I frequent it? I, I think, honestly, the outdoor seating is probably its strength. And it has a, a second room, which is kind of like an atrium where the sun comes in. Yeah, that looks that was very funny. nice. Yeah, that, I didn't really notice. Kind of, yeah, we were kind of yeah. back in the corner. I like Lady and the Tramp theming. I like the fact that you can see like Lady and the Tramp on TV is like you're waiting. I think it's a great restaurant for kids. It, is, it does seem like with the decor, a nice special occasion restaurant. Uh, but definitely, if you if you have to eat at one place at Magic Kingdom, it's not it. It's got a great spot though and i think that if you put put some italian real italian food good italian food into it it could elevate it. Uh, so i understand why people are disappointed i wasn't i was pleasantly surprised and i greatly enjoyed my meal i would say it's, it's probably a six of an experience right yeah, yeah. Tony did a good job, and I'm sorry we didn't get the spaghetti, spaghetti and meatballs. We wanted to go be a little bit more adventurous, adventurous. But next time I we'll share a spaghetti farm. and meatball. I needed some farm. Yeah, <laughs> we should have brought spaghetti and meatballs home to Frank. He could have been like a little lady in the tramp dog. Yeah, but he wouldn't eat it nicely though. <laughs> That's true. There wouldn't be any slurping. It would be oh, Frank would Inhale. be. Inhale. Yeah. That's the Frank way. He wouldn't be sharing. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. It pushes this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video. Subscribing also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time that videos come out. Which is Wednesday. Every Monday and Thursday. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. We'll see you next time. That's all, folks. Yeah, I mean, yes, it will. We try to hide ourselves a little bit. But yeah, there's Tony's over there. It's right next to Mickey. It's got like a great location. It really does. But uh, I mean, I, I would honestly, like at 3 o'clock when the Festival of Fantasy, try to get that outdoor seating. Nothing really beats it. But it needs better Italian food. While you're watching the yes. Festival of Fantasy, which you can't really say that. Yes, I didn't want to have some wine today, but they do have wine and beer. So let's see you guys know. And you can meet Mickey after your meal. Tony, though, you got to do a little bit better, Tony. Maybe go back to Italy and and uh, bring some of those recipes home with you.